there's no chemical reaction occurring inside the separation, then the amount of material added into the feed must exit in the total of the product streams. Chemical plants are designed and operated to meet specifications. These specifications are generally given by the properties of the materials that we want to sell or by the, the feed that needs to go into the next step in the process. These can be simply specified for each component as a percentage recovery. So for example, 90% of component A from the feed must be in the top product or they can be specified as a product purity. For example, the top product must be 99% A. For separations, feed components are partitioned between the products according to a split fraction. The split fraction for a component I in a separator K is given by the fraction found in the first product of the component I that we're interested in, divided by the amount of that component in the feed. Alternatively, we can write the separation as a split ratio between the two products. So in this case, our split ratio is given by the amount of our component I in our first product stream divided by the amount of component I in the second product stream. We can write the split ratio in terms of the split fraction, uh, as given by the equation at the bottom of this slide. You can see that this is essentially the ratio between our split fraction of component I in our first product stream divided by the split fraction of component I in the second product stream. Some separation operations are incapable of making a sharp split between the key components, so we can only affect a desired recovery of a single component. So a, pro a separation process like distillation can make a sharp split and we can specify both our top and bottom products. Whereas uh, separating by a membrane uh, can't make a sharp split because uh, in most membrane processes all the materials pass through the membrane and we're only selecting uh, on selective diffusion through the membrane. For these types of system, a measure of the relative degree of separation between the two key components can be given by the separation factor or separation power. The separation power is the ratio between our key component I in the first and second product stream divided by the same ratio for our component J. Achievable values for separation factor depend on the number of stages in the separation and the properties of the two key components. In general, the two key components are selected so that the separation factor produces a number greater than one. So a large value of the separation factor corresponds to a relatively high degree of separation, whereas a small value close to one corresponds to a very low degree of separation.